I want to share my impressions about watching the movie Tapad. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. I'm not sure. Tapad or Tapar, maybe, meaning slap. Uh, I watched it some time ago already. I think I watched it maybe a month ago. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't do this video for a month because I wasn't sure what to say. This movie impressed me so much. Actually, I wanted to watch a good quality movie, a recent one from 2020. So I googled and I said something like best Indian movies of 2020. And in many lists, it was one of the first, like one of the best movies of 2020. As far as I understand, this movie got some awards. So I was curious and I realized, you know, it was evident that it would be not an easy movie to watch. But I decided to watch it and it impressed me so much. And even now, I don't know how to find the right words. I was thinking and thinking and thinking after I watched it. And uh, I shared with some of my friends, some of my Russian friends. I said that, you know, I'm making these videos and I decided to watch a movie and to make a video review. And then I said, I watched that movie that I cannot say anything about. And they asked me why. I mean, I used to speak to one friend and to another friend. So it would be a, like one to one dialogue. And like my friend would ask why. And I say, you know, it is a strange movie. It is such a serious movie. And then I explain the plot in one line. I say, it is a movie about a husband and a wife and the wife uh, files for divorce because uh, the husband slapped her on her cheek at a party. And the whole movie is actually about her wanting that divorce and explaining to everyone that that slap was a serious reason for such a divorce. So I spoke to a few friends of mine and all these friends, they were like, what? Is that really the plot of the movie? And my friends were girlfriends, I mean, not men. So my friends, women would say, that is a strange plot. And then I said, well, you know, there is some reason to it. Like I say, you know, while you're watching this movie, you realize that it is a serious reason for a divorce. And still those friends of mine would shrug their shoulders and say, well, interesting. So it is a very serious movie and uh, it is an Indian movie. It speaks about different issues in India. But I feel that for Russia, this issue is also quite important, quite acute. Because I mean, that's an interesting movie. This movie, while watching this movie, I started asking a question. Is it a serious reason for a divorce? Is Amrita right in doing that? And while asking these questions to myself, I realized, oh, wow, this is the main goal of the movie so that people start asking questions and generally judging by this very plot i mean it was hard for me to explain to my friends you have to watch the movie so i did say that maybe you know you should watch the movie to understand that judging by this plot this was the correct decision because that slap uh, it was a sign of overall attitude towards the wife you know the husband Vikram he seemed like a perfect husband but it is very well shown in the movie how he didn't appreciate many things in his family and many things that the wife was doing for him and I think that it was very well acted uh, Vikram yes the actor is uh, Pavail Gulati yes Pavail Gulati I think he did a very good job, fabulous job of showing a man who is not indifferent, no, but he is just, he thinks everything is just fine. He simply cannot understand what is happening. 
and being stubborn in his way of thinking that everything is perfect, I mean, he is great in showing that. Because unfortunately, that's what happens in life. Men sometimes don't realize what can be wrong. They are sure everything is perfect and they cannot understand what is wrong and forget about, yes, uh, realizing what, what is wrong with them, uh, uh, being aware of their own mistakes. So I think it is very good acting by him. Not a very pleasant character, this Vikram. Yes, when you look at him, well, that's not a husband a woman would dream of. But unfortunately, in reality, it often happens like that, that husbands are like that. I mean, even in Russia. So I couldn't make this review for a very long time because I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say. And the magical, the magical thing about this movie is that somehow, somehow, although, yes, it may seem strange at first, like I said, my friends say, why? Should it be a divorce because of a slap? But somehow this movie explains it. Explains it through so many ways. Yes, there are these plot lines of different women in the movie. And it made so much impact on me seeing that lawyer. Yes, the lawyer who thinks that uh, Amrita is, you know, crazy. And she doesn't understand why she is doing that. So... The lawyer, the strong woman, like seems to be like a profession for an independent strong woman. She suffers similar things at home. And also I was impressed uh, by the maid. And uh, this is the actress uh, Giti Kavidia Ohlan. I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly. But I think really good acting showing that maid, very humble woman. Unfortunately, it happens in reality that such humble women and modest women, they are very patient, patient, and, they'll, and they tolerate a lot. And this journey of uh, this maid, yes, the journey from that wife who is not respected until the very end of the movie when she is dancing and she is happy, I mean... It is just uh, breathtaking and uh, it is very touching. So as I said, in Russia, this issue is also an issue. And uh, the fact that my friends didn't understand uh, the thing in the movie, like why, why it should be the subject of a movie, it means that the society needs such movies, yes? It is a movie about something very, very deeply connected to many people in the world and I'm proud and I'm happy that India made this step. So it is an Indian movie. India who also has such issues. Again, as I said in many movies, India is open about talking about the problems, showing them. Yes, we have them. And this is a great example of that, showing in a very, very, I would say, gentle way in a very careful way, yes, without lots of violence, you know, without that, you know, domestic violence and beating and some horrible things, in a very light, light way, giving a very strong message in the movie. So I'm very happy that India made this movie. I hope that one day this movie will come to Russia, to some film festival, and it can be shown to the Russian public. And I will for sure keep telling my friends about it, especially those friends who I think may need it. So although this topic is difficult to talk about, I'm glad that I watched this movie and Bhanyavad Bharat for making such movies nowadays. Thank you so much for watching my videos. This is Olga from the Volga. Subscribe, like, put comments and hear me linking.